Mr. Howard, thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's a very great pleasure to be here. Exciting to be back? Very exciting to be back. Yeah, great thrill. Mm. What have you actually been doing? I've used the time uh, to do some things I've always wanted to do, but um, hadn't previously had the time. Like what? Well, for instance, I was lucky enough to get a drive in the Spanish Grand Prix. Really? Yep. Where'd you finish? Finished seventh. Who'd you beat? Uh, beat the bloke who came eighth from memory. Mr. How, could we turn to uh, the unity in the party? Um, you and Andrew Peacock, how's that unity going? Unity's going very well. Very strong sense of unity in the party now. The party's pretty well unified, a lot of unity about. Uh, not much else in the party at the moment. The party is characterised by unity. If I was uh, to search for a word to describe so the current state of the party, sense unity of unification. Would be, that'd be pretty much the word I'd go for, yeah. Mm, but you don't like him? No, it's not easy, but it seems to be working. It's in the papers. But he doesn't like you? No, he's not much of a bloke, Andrew, frankly, but it seems to be working. But, Mr Howard, don't, don't you think that people can see this bitterness? I think people see that as a healthy spirit of competition in the party. Competition? I mean, what are you talking about? I mean, you know, if you, you get into the job, he wants it, mm. and, and if he gets into it, you try and take it off him. I mean, where's the unity? Perfectly natural sense of competition within the party. But 50% of the party don't want you, mm. and the other 50% don't want him. Where's yeah. the unity? Equality. The hallmark of the Liberal Party. It's a totally unified oh, party. Oh, Mr Howard, please. Totally unified M party. Mr Howard, you're stretching it a bit. I mean, where is your support coming from? I've got a lot of support. I've got a oh. great deal of support. Where? I have a great deal of personal where is support, your support from within the party. From? from within the party. What party? The Labor Party, by what? and large. Mr Howard, what's your next job? Uh, probably Andrew's, I, I think. You want Andrew Peacock's job? And yeah, of course I do. Well, have you talked to him about this? But why would I tell Andrew? Why would I tell Andrew? The plan's not going to work, is it, if I tell Andrew what I want? But you've and just don't you tell Andrew. Don't you tell... For goodness sake, don't you go telling Andrew what I want. Mr Howard, you've just told three million viewers that you want Andrew Peacock's job. Yes, but I don't want the public to know. They are don't, the public. Don't Mr. tell Andrew. Don't, for goodness sake, tell Andrew. Mr Howard, they are the public. But Andrew's not watching television. Andrew's How do not you know that? Or, because he's giving a speech tonight at the Coomer RSL. About what? About party unity. Mr. For goodness Howard. sake, how's it going to work if you tell him? I don't want the public to know. I don't want Andrew Peacock to know. Mr. Howard. He didn't tell me. Why should I tell him? Mr. Howard, thanks for joining us. Have some us. loyalty. You get me on here, and then you go and tell everybody. I didn't what... tell him anything. You told me. You're going to tell him. I'm, I'm not only told one him. person this. If he finds out, I'm going to know who told him. Who? If he finds out, I'm going to know you told him. And you know what's going to happen then? Mr. Howard, thanks for joining Nothing. Mr. Nothing. Mr. I'm Mr. not going to come here. The Again. The not going to come here. The satellite's running out. There isn't a satellite. I'm sitting next to you. Wake up to yourself. You tell him, I'll string you up, son. Mr. Howard, thanks for joining us. Good evening.